Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the first ever virtual concert for the Central Cabarrus High School Band Program. As you can see, a little bit more informal, not in the tux or the dresses or anything like that. Hopefully, you are enjoying a nice night with your family, being able to watch this concert, and are excited for everything that's about to come your way. To start, there is no way that this video is going to be able to make up for the live in-person experience of the concert, but we thought it would be a great idea when we came in january we hadn't done anything in the first semester as far as concerts and so we set a goal that we were going to be able to do a concert even if that meant doing something like this where we create a video and show it to all of you i'm hoping that you can see the hard work that the band has put in this year if you are a community member there are some opportunities in here for you to be able to even hear directly from the students what their experience has been in band during a COVID year the year has been filled with playing with masks having these little spit catcher kind of rags on the ground, uh, playing with bell covers on, sometimes even have to play in the closet or the bathroom. You're gonna hear about a little bit of that from students later and kind of what they thought about those things. But this concert is kind of a product to show you what the students have been able to put on regardless of everything that has been going on the past year. There's also gonna be later in the video, the senior slideshow, which is gonna honor our class of 2021 and everything that they have done this year. There's also some opportunities in here for awards recognitions for some of our students and where they have ended up at the end of this year. So I'm hoping you're looking forward to tonight and we're gonna head into our very first piece, a mini fanfare for band. I hope you enjoy. enjoyed a mini fanfare for band that was a piece that the students actually put together within the first three weeks of the semester they got through it very quickly they sound fantastic i hope you enjoyed it we're going to be getting to our second piece here in just a few minutes but first we want to hear from some of our students and about how COVID has impacted them their experience with band this year let's hear from some of our upperclassmen on their thoughts of COVID this year um, coming from playing it any closets uh wherever we had to play wherever he told us to play, um, being able to come together, make this music, and now be able to play um, near each other and all in the same room um, is very important. I'm glad that we finally were able to make that happen um, and we're making steps so to make it easier for next year. And I don't know, I'm very grateful that we get to play music. I don't want to ever take it for granted ever again. This year in band, hasn't been the best year because we had to play outside with masks on in 30 degree weather and stand in the wind and play in the rain and all that. But it's getting better because now we can play inside without being stuffed in a closet and we can all play in one room as long as we're six feet apart. And I'm just glad we're all playing together again because it kind of wasn't cool listening to everybody through the computer. So I really think this year was a really interesting year with band. I feel like we really needed to test our patience and our passion for band with the new people and wearing masks and virtual school. But it's really starting to get better since people are coming back in and we're playing together more 
and I'm really excited. I'm just really happy to be here in general because, you know, a lot of schools aren't even getting the opportunity to play right now. And yeah, I do have a really, I am really passionate for music and I really hope things just keep going. It's, it's been a lot of rough stuff, a lot of people leaving, but it's starting to look up and I think we're going to have a really good season. So band this year has been different. Um, beginning of the semester, I played in the guard closet and then I was moved to the instrument room. And it was a little, it was a little tough just because you couldn't really hear anybody around you. And we also had to play with our instrument masks. But if it's to be able to play music, I think it's all worth it. Um, now, uh, recently, we, are being, we have been able to play um, in a big room and it's just, honestly, I think this year is going great so far. So we get to hear everybody play music and I'm just excited for things to come. I'm really glad um, this year could have gone a lot in a different direction, but I know everything is improving. I just got to take everything a little step at a time. Yeah, this year it's it's been cool, you know, like it's been different. I, I wouldn't say it's my best year, uh, nowhere close to it, but it's it's been the best it, it could be. Um, it's It's been fun, you know, um, it, it was it kind of started out not that great, but it definitely did once we got more used to it. Um, it, it got very good um, and it ended a pretty good year, a good way to end my high school band career. This band year wasn't exactly the best band year uh, that we could have had. Most of us were hardly playing or playing at home by ourselves or playing inside a closet. However, and it may not have been like the best band experience that we were expecting, but it was we were the best band that we could be because we were together and playing music even though we may not have been physically together or together without a mask but we were together uh, playing music and that's what band is really all about it's about bringing people together through music thank you students for giving us your perspective on COVID and how it's impacted us we're going to hear from more students later and what they thought about how COVID has impacted them and their band experience we're actually heading into our second piece though sunset lullaby and as the name suggests this is actually trying to invoke, uh, you know, the sunset, the colors that come with the sunset. We In class, when we were recording this and, and learning it, we talked about the colors that you see with the sunset, right? Those oranges, those yellows, those reds, sometimes even those purples and pinks that come along with that. As you're listening to the piece, I hope that you can hear those colors come out. Here's our second piece, Sunset Lullaby.
That was Sunset Lullaby. I hope you enjoyed it. Very beautifully played, students. Thank you so much. I loved learning and rehearsing that piece with you all a lot this semester. Let's go hear from some more students. This time, let's hear from some of our freshmen, some people who are coming into high school for the first time in a COVID year. Very strange coming into high school band. You expect one thing, you got something completely different than what you bargained for. Let's hear from some of those freshmen. Uh, playing saxophone has always been one of my hobbies since like sixth grade when I joined band. Men has always been kind of fun too. It's like an extra class I've had, especially for like eighth grade, but it got cut off. And this year it was pretty fun. This like quarter was, I, took, I did a pet band. It was kind of sucked that I had uh, three fourths of it like at home online. That kind of sucked. But the other fourth was pretty cool. I'm looking forward to the rest of band. So I'd say my freshman band experience was definitely not what I'm used to coming from middle school. I remember going in every day getting to play with a full group, getting to hear all of the parts come together, and it was really nice. And then you go to high school expecting to experience that same thing, and then you get stuck in a closet. Uh, the closet that I was in, I was stuck with a, there was a freezer and a fridge, both which made really loud noises, so I could hardly hear anything the entire time. Um, but once we got permission to all come and play together in one room, I'm like, yes, I'm finally going to get to hear other people. And it's actually really been working well. I've really enjoyed uh, these past few months of band, and I can't wait to see uh, how we're going to get to improve even more come the next year, when hopefully there'll be more restrictions that are taken away. Starting in band, I didn't know what to expect because of uh, COVID, but it definitely wasn't doing music theory all day. And uh, playing outside in the cold with only like five other people in band, and eventually we started making more progress and we got to play inside but we had a playing closet which you couldn't really hear other people in your section and for me i was the only woodwind that came in person so i couldn't even hear other people that were had similar parts to me but um now everything is looking better because now we're playing inside we're having an actual concert even though it has to be outdoors we had the banquet the other day um, we're planning on doing marching band. We even did pep band this year. So that was really nice. And I think we've made a lot of progress from just not playing at all to having a concert uh, in a few days. So during COVID, we had to go into separate closets and basically not hear anybody else besides the neighbor next to you. So like I was in the color guard closet, which is this tiny, like, I don't even know, like eight by eight foot closet crammed with things just random things i had to try and fit a tuba in there which wasn't the best idea especially since we also had to use a computer for our music i think covid just messed us all up for my freshman year but things started turning around mr adams started putting everything together with as little as he had uh it was pretty fine at the end for the first half of ninth grade band kind of sucked like to the point I didn't even want to play my saxophone anymore when I went home but now like I managed to pull through all the way up to now and now it actually is pretty fun to actually play my saxophone since I get to meet new people I mean I don't even know what to say anymore because how much I've progressed throughout of night throughout ninth grade Mr. Adams has been a great amazing band teacher to every one of my friends, including me. I would just like to say thank you. So we were fortunate enough this year to be able to come to school uh, for a portion of the year. And I think that in itself is just really great because when I left middle school, I was so scared that I'd never get to play with people again. And I was stuck at home playing the same 20 pieces over and over again. But coming to school, even though we were shoved into tiny rooms and I could barely hear people, even just knowing that there were other instruments around me playing the same piece was like this whole new feeling that I hadn't experienced in months. I was also lucky enough to be part of the pet band and have after school practices and I made so many friends. I've always been pretty antisocial being a band kid, but it was so cool to meet other people that had the same interests that I knew wouldn't kind of pick at me for being nerdy or whatever because we were all nerdy together. So yeah, that's it. Overall, this year has been incredibly fortunate despite how bad things have been. I think that the staff and the school and the county has worked really hard to make this band program what it should be. Even though we have to wear crazy masks and we have rags on the floor, 
it's something great and I think we should all be thankful for it. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to have all of you in class who spoke. Uh, and it's been a crazy year as far as you know PPE stuff, distancing, just being able to play music in general. Playing in a closet is not something we thought we were gonna have to do this year. But students, I thank you all for your patience. Those of you who did record videos for this, uh, thank you so much for sharing your perspective. It really is beneficial, not only for me to know how the school year was for you, but maybe you're a community member who doesn't know what happens in the band room, especially this year. Now you know what some of these kids had to go through. It was a very strange year, but you all were fantastic students. Thank you so much. Before we head to our final piece of the night though, we want to recognize some people in the program. To start, we wanted to recognize some of the award earners of some of the most prestigious band awards that are offered here at Central Cabarrus High School. Each of these students have already received their award, but we wanted to put it in this video because we wanted everyone to know of their high achievements this semester. To start, we actually have a new award that is brand new to our band program. It's actually new within the past five years. This is the first year it makes its appearance at our school though. This is the Leonard Bernstein Musicianship Award. This award is gonna be given traditionally now from this year forward to two students, a male and a female. And the award is essentially awarded for students for musical contributions, their creativity as musicians, um, and really expressing themselves very well on their instruments um, beyond what is expected of them as a player in high school. So as I mentioned, we had a male and a female this year as the inaugural award winners for the Leonard Bernstein Musicianship Award. The first one was given to Jaden McNeil, who is a current junior, plays alto saxophone. Congratulations, Jaden, for being one of the first people ever to get the Leonard Bernstein Musicianship Award at Central Cabarrus High School. Our second Leonard Bernstein Musicianship Award winner, our female winner for this year, is also a junior. She plays flute. I had her in the first semester this year um, from August to December, and she is a fantastic flute player uh, beyond what I have seen in my just past year of teaching. Some really fantastic flute playing from this student that set her apart for this award. So the second ever inaugural winner of the Leonard Bernstein Musicianship Award goes to Camilla Sanchez Herrera. Congratulations both to Jaden and Camilla for being the first ever winners of this award in the band program's history. The next award winner we wanted to recognize is for the Director's Award for Band. This award is given to a student who goes above and beyond the call of duty for the band program. They're always willing to help out. The student who won it this year, she is a fantastic person, a fantastic flute player as well. She is also a junior here at Central Cabarrus High School. She's very hard on herself, but I am also very proud of her as a musician. She's gone above and beyond the call of duty. She took the honors music theory course this year, as well as music theory courses outside of school. And so the winner of the director's award for band for 2020, 2021 is Olivia Taylor. Congratulations, Olivia. I know you've had this award for a little bit now. Um, but I'm so proud of you for being able to win this award and getting your name on a plaque for you and also on a plaque that lives in the band room for years to come. The final award winner that we really wanna recognize uh, tonight is for the John Philip Sousa Band Award. This is the top tier cream of the crop high school band award that there is. It's the gold standard. It goes for only the top best musicians that are out there, the highest character, people who go above and beyond what is expected of them. They always practice. They're always looking for ways to develop themselves as musicians. This young man who is a graduating senior this year has been nothing but that from what I've seen. It has been such a pleasure to be even a small part of his musical journey throughout my first year of teaching. So the winner of the John Philip Sousa Band Award for this year is Zachary Hessler, who will receive this marble desk piece, as well as a pin and a certificate for him. Zach, congratulations. I hope that you enjoy your desk piece, as well as those other items I mentioned. His name will also live on the walls of the band room for years to come on a John Philip Sousa Band Award plaque. Beyond these four students that we just recognized, I want to recognize all of the students in the band program. Whether you were someone who had me for one semester or two semesters, did pet band, did winter guard, it doesn't matter. I want to say thank you all so much for your hard work and dedication and for not giving up in one of the hardest years in school history. Before we head into our final piece of the night, 
we want to recognize our class of 2021. Seniors, thank you so much for being so welcoming to me in my first year. Thank you for the work you've put in, not in just these videos, but throughout the school year. You didn't give up. Let music continue to be a part of your life even when you're gone from this place. Central Cabarrus High School and Central Cabarrus High School Band will always be your home. I hope you enjoy the Senior Slideshow.
what a great slideshow with some amazing pictures. We're going to head into our final piece of the night. I appreciate everyone for sticking around. I hope that you have enjoyed everything that you have seen, the two concert pieces, as well as from hearing from students, our award winners, and our seniors. I didn't want this to be a traditional concert experience, and like we mentioned at the beginning, where you just show up, hear some pieces, and leave. This video is important for several reasons. One, it's the first virtual concert ever at Central Cabarrus High School has put on. Two, we didn't give up. We made it, folks, students. We made it to the end. This video, I hope, is something you can be proud of. We're going to head into our final piece of the night. It is called Stellar Engines. It is a very fun piece. The students have really leaned into it. It's got a nice groove to it. I really hope that you enjoy it. Uh, after that video, it will be the conclusion of our first ever virtual spring concert video. So here's Stellar Engines. I hope everyone has a fantastic night. We will see you in the fall of 2021. Good night, everyone. I hope you enjoy. <laughs>